What's going on YouTube? Clayky's all back again with another Final Fantasy video and this time it's an Esper guide and we're going to take down Bahamut and obtain him as an Esper. Now, uh, to get this started off, first thing you need to do is make sure you've cleared Season 1 of the story, meaning you've finished everything you can do here and you've moved on to uh, Paladia or the net Season 2 of the story which uh, just came out recently, okay? So then what you guys want to do is head into Zoldad after completing the Season 1 of the story. You'll head into downtown Zoldad, and we'll click yes, and you're just going to keep going up until you can't go up anymore, but I do want to show it to make sure you guys understand. Uh, we're going to go up here, we're going to talk to Evan, and he's going to mark a new kind of exploration type of weird map. And to be able to challenge Bahamut, we're going to have to collect something called Rat Tails, and the way we do that is we explore this exploration map, and then from there, we're going to have to defeat uh, Visions of Bahamut to get a Rat Tail to be able to challenge him. So you go up here, you'll talk to Evan, he'll tell me that he's marked the, uh, the place on my map, he will mark the place on your map for you, so check it out. Then we're going to go to town menu uh we're gonna go back to the world max that's where we need to go so i'm gonna show you guys my route i take to try to get uh rat tails of course you guys can go in and just farm everything as you can see i'll go back here i may have went a little too fast down at the bottom right you'll see realm of the dragon king that's where you want to head and for you probably edge of the realm and then peaceful stream is going to be open for you and the way this works is we're going to go in these explorations there'll be little campsites that let us save our progress and come back out and that way we can start in different areas you see these little tents that are on here we need to take a tent when we get to those little tents we can pull ourselves back out but all of this map is connected you can see i haven't even finished the whole map there's even more over here that i haven't done i'll leave a link in the description below of the wiki showing you a map of where you can find these different um you know visions of bahamut where you can get some rat tails and also how to go through this whole exploration as there is a trust moogle if you complete it all and then you uh fight bahamut in one go i'm probably going to be working on that for some time to come but what you guys want to do is you want to go in with a team that either has an escape in my opinion or you can go in with smoke bombs we're just going to run away from them and you want to take in somebody that has not a lot of uh that has the charm bangles that allow us to avoid running into people. So I'll show you guys what I normally do is I'll go into the peaceful stream. It doesn't really matter who we take, but I'd actually like to take a, uh, we'll just take an Orlando. That's fine. We'll take this guy right here. And, uh, the team I normally take, well, uh, is this one. I'll just take in my big, big, big team. So you guys can see it a little bit. Let me make sure that he has the charm bangles equipped. He does not. So again, it, I'm not even doing this in order to do that. We're looking for charm bangle here. Uh, may have passed. So this is one of the things that I'm really bad at. Of course, I'm doing it in a video. There they are, Charm Bangles. So we're going to put the Charm Bangles on. That decreases our chance of running into monsters because this is an exploration. And the monsters do hit really hard, guys. This isn't something you just go in and just breeze through. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to go into get into a rat tail. When you first start this up, guys, you guys are going to have to make it to uh, the realm of the thing. So I'll show you guys. The Eternal Summit right there, essentially as you go through the different maps, and you'll see, I'll keep going back here, you'll see uh, on the map that you go through, you'll go and you get to the Bright Forest, you can pull out if you want, then you go back in and you start at the Bright Forest where you started. Then you get to the Cavern of Desolation, do it again, go to the uh, Pass of Trials, and then the Pass of Trials will lead into the Eternal Summit where you're going to be able to go back there, and that's pretty much a starting point of where you can challenge Bahamut. But I'm going to show you my run when I'm trying to farm Rat Tails, because we actually need one, so I can show you guys how I beat him uh, in my game. So we're going to take this person right here again. We're going to take our team and we're going to head in. Another uh, person you could take with you is Diablos with the reduced encounter rate if you wanted. Um, I personally don't have that uh, set on there. Oh, cool. Connection error issues. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, so we'll go in here and uh, head down the stairs if I can. That's what I like. The stairs and ladders are really hard for me in this game. And the first location I like to check for a vision of Bahamut is right here. And you can see right there, something approaches. And these guys aren't that big of a deal. Um, it depends on how good your damage is. But at this point of the game, you should be okay. We're just going to use Divine Ruination. We'll chain that up with Onion Cutter and finish them off with Cloud. And hopefully that's enough to kill them. So we're going to go ahead and do this. It's not going to chain perfectly, but I'll do a little chain that Cloud's going to get in there and we'll take him down. Again, all my people are TM'd out of their minds. But after you kill one of these, which aren't as hard as a normal Bahamut, they have a chance to drop something. That one did not in a rat tail and you need one rat tail per chance that you're going to take against Bahama in my opinion uh, it's really rough uh, for me because okay and then you run into an enemy sometimes they can have preemptive attacks and they can hit you but what I like to do is either you take somebody in there that has escape or you use an item that has escape and get out of there and I just use smoke bombs because they, they're like a dime a dozen and then I just get out and then my normal run again I'll go through my whole run before we go fight Bahamut and again, I just use smoke bombs to get away from them. Even though I can kill them, I just don't want to waste the time. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. Uh, because sometimes you get really screwed in a run and you don't get any at all. So if you at this point, you can look down here. There he is again. There's another spot that they can farm here in the part where I go. I think there are three spawns that I can see in the, as I go through. Uh, so I'm going to go there and hopefully he drops a rat tail for us. So I can show you guys the drop and then show you guys what you can do with them, okay? So the moss fungus uh, disappeared. Running over here. Fighting this guy, something is closing in, taking him on, 
Just like last time, pretty much the same thing. We're gonna uh, just kill him and hope he drops a rat tail. We're gonna Clem Hazard here and just chain him up. And then hit Clem Hazard and finish him off. So there we go. Not the best chaining and finishing, but we're hoping a treasure chest pops out from underneath him with a rat tail. And it didn't. So we're getting really unlucky here. Not the best in the world, but I'm going to keep going. For me, I may have to farm this a little bit off the video and cut to it if I don't get one in this run. But I want to show you guys a complete run, so if you want to go in that same exploration and just do like a little loop-de-loop, -loop, you can. Uh, that's what I tend to do here in the first area. So there's one more spot one of them could show up. And I don't know if... See how many... Look how many enemies we're running into, and then now they get the first strike. So you can see like how much damage they can do to you. And there's nothing you can do about it. That just happens. So uh, it, it can suck. And you can see how many enemies we're running into. It's actually kind of insane. Uh, the kind of stuff you guys will have to deal with in here, even if I have both charm bangles on. Uh, moving down, we have one more spot before we hit our tent area that I like to hit up. Oh, that's not it. That's like a secret area for a treasure chest. Come on. It's right here, and I don't think I saw one. We'll see if we get there. Using a lot of smoke bombs here. Um, let's see. I don't want this video to be too long, but I do want to show this off. And there's normal, there could be one right here where I'm standing, but there isn't. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is end the video, uh, or skip in the video ahead until I find a rat tail, and then I'll show you guys how to take on Bahama and what team I use. All right, guys, so we finally got a rat tail. That actually took me like 30 minutes. My odds of getting one were just so bad, I guess. I don't know. So once you've made it to the Eternal Summit and you have your uh, rat tail ready, that's when we're going to go in and we're actually going to fight Bahamut himself. And he's actually pretty tough to take down. Uh, again, as you can see, defeat all the Shadow Bahamuts and then fight Bahamut and kill him. Yeah, not not for me. That 10% ain't worth that. But uh, what we need to look for is a friend or Land Duke. So again, we're using our Back to Basics team we've been using for a while. Uh, so for, so Agris is going to be our main damage healer. So Divine Ruination Chaining Bahamut is what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and take this uh, dude right here. Um, we're not using that team. That would be kind of crazy though. This is the team we're going to be taking. Um, we're going to go through each unit and explain why. So let's talk about Bahamut and what Bahamut's going to do to you. So you're going to get in, you're going to have one turn. And then Bahamut's going to cast Mega Flare. And Mega Flare is an AoE, 21 times multiplier, it hits, and then he does another one, I think it's 14 times from what I'm reading right here. So how are we going to deal with that? We're going to have Mystia cover it, be brought back to life by Riku, and then cover it again, and then she's probably going to die off because I can't use uh, many TMs to be able to build her up because, again, we're trying to do this as basic and as uh, minimal gear and as friendly gear as we can here. So that's our plan. And then after that, Bahamut is going to attack you with fire, lightning, ice damage, and uh, then he's going to cast Mega Flare again in five turns, so we have to be prepared for that. He also has an ability that will uh, dispel the entire uh, your entire team and knock off all your buffs. And that's about it. Uh, after that, he has a single target fire damage that is uh, flare. It lowers your water resist, but uh, that's going to be covered by our good Mystere friend. So again, we're going to be using Mystia here. Sorry, not Mystere. It's Mystia here in Global. And this is the equipment. I hope I don't offend anyone. Uh, going in with this equipment. I hope this is good for you guys. Another thing we need to make sure we're doing here is having Paralyzed Resist on everyone. He has an ability that will paralyze everyone. What is the percentage on it? 100%. So we got to have Paralyzed Resist or we're getting paralyzed, all right? So um, the last time in my Back to Basics video on the Octopus Teacher, I had some people complain about the equipment, and rightfully so. I had some things on there that maybe came from uh, other trials or things like that that maybe some people wouldn't have. So what I did was on my Twitch channel, I went in with everyone naked besides Agrius and 4 times 15% HP on uh, Ver Veritas of the Earth, and I beat the Octopus trial that way. Arya had zero equipment on her, Soleil had zero equip on her, Veritas of the Earth only had 4 times 15 HP. So I just want to stress that these guides and the things I'm doing for you guys is a guide. It's a way for you to look at, build up your equipment, and get there eventually. And seriously look down and learn how this stuff is working back to basics is supposed to teach you the mechanics and make you understand this is what's going on don't look at the units uh as you know four star five star bases oh look at all that equipment look at it more as this is how i can work towards this is what i can work towards okay maybe i can't beat it today maybe i can't beat it tomorrow but this stuff's in the game forever i can work towards it get there and eventually we can accomplish things together i'm just trying to help you guys so that's how it's going to be so here's our uh what we're trying to do here is we want to get as much spirit up on everybody as we can and have as much HP because uh, the uh, the Bahamut is going to be doing a lot of damage to us uh, magic-wise. So that's what we want. Uh, so you can see here, and we want Paralyzed Resist. So uh, we can see here we have the Paralyzed Resist. We have our equipment up. Nothing too big of a deal. The Equip Light Shield. I think you guys get that from keys, I do believe. So you're going to be able to get that from a key. I like to have that on there. And then we're going to put a little shield on here. We're going to grab the Hero Shield, I do believe. Or is that uh, the Hero Shield? We're just throwing on a little bit more of... Uh, you know, a little bit more spirit. There are probably better uh, light shows out there, but that's the one I have on hand. So there you guys go for her. Then on Soleil, again, I'm just putting as much spirit on her as I can in HP. Uh, the Cat Air Hood is bought from Star Quartz, so hopefully nobody gets me on that. Now, I am using Ulrich's Kukri here. I'm not using Overrider. For Riku, 
again, Solace is going to be buffing up our spirits to try to withstand all the attacks from Bahamut. Uh, Riku here is going to be in the, there for her limit burst. Um, as I said, I'm using four to five TMRs with this team, and I'll try to stick to those same TMRs. They were dual cast, Riku's pouch, dual weld. Uh, Excalibur, and I haven't picked a fifth one yet. We'll get there if I need it, but for right now. So this is going to be it. I'm using Okra's Kukri because it, it came out sooner. If anything, just throw something on her that you want that's spirit-wise. If you have Odor Overrider, use Overrider. I'm not using it because I'm afraid people will backlash at me. That's her ability. That's her weapon that you got from uh, the event that gives her 100% to um, Limit Burst fill rate. Now, I do have Mog Wisdom down here. No Paralyze. You're going to need that. Again, we got to not be paralyzed. And then I just threw two Guardians Authority on her to make her survive. What we can do before we go fight Bahamut, which is cool because it is an exploration, is we can kind of go down and cheat a little bit and get Riku's Limit Burst filled up before we go into the fight. That way, we can cast it on turn one. It's very important. And then we have um, Arya here. She isn't equipped too much up. She has uh, some things on her like this, dual cast. And then everything else she has on her was uh, gained from events or other, uh, other farmable TMRs there. And then we have Ag Agrius. Uh, she doesn't need Grand Helm and the Assassin's Vest. So we're going to take the Grand Helm off here and we're going to throw on um, just where where's something good. Here we go. Tiger Mask. He doesn't really need that much anyway. And then we have Dragon Killer because we are fighting a dragon. Bahamut is a dragon. Okay, I don't want to thread on this too much, but that's pretty much it. We want to go to Sats. Make sure she's paralyzed. Resist. We're good to go. Um, we really want our uh, Orlando should be paralyzed. Resist because I think he's innate paralyzed. Resist, but I just want to check and make sure. Yeah, I think I think that he comes with that, so we're good to go. So we're gonna go into the Eternal Summit. We're gonna go in there and fight right now. Okay, so. Um, Okay, we want to, another thing, we got to make sure our espers are right, because I have been messing around. We want Odin on for the Dragon Killer uh, ability that he gives, okay? So there we go. We should be good to go. Everything looks nice. Let's get into the fight. I know this video is a little bit longer. You could, I'm sorry, I'm kind of rambling on, but I, I just want to make sure you guys are prepared, because again, you have to farm those rat tails to be able to fight this boss. You can't just go in and fight them. Uh, you know, whenever you want, which kind of sucks. I wish it was that way. So what we're going to do is head down the head to the left is what I like to do. And we are going to fight these creatures, and then we're just going to escape after we have built up a little bit of limit burst. Or we can kill them, but we don't want to waste too much MP and HP, as we do have to go fight Bahamut after this. So, uh, these people show up, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to double uh, Blade Blitz with our Agrius and our Orlando friend. And before we do that, if I can find Blade Blitz, we're going to go ahead and use our Riku's... Um, eccentric, which boosts up our limit burst fill rate, which hopefully means we're going to be able to get some limit burst for our Riku. Uh, get it up quicker than we had before. So there we go. It's already full. We're good to go. We'll go ahead and tap this. Use a smoke bomb. You can use smoke bomb or another way to escape to get out of the battle. And now we are ready to go in and fight uh, Bahamut. I actually am going to think... I'm thinking I'm going to get Arya's uh, limit burst up too. There's no reason not to. Uh, we're not too worried about that. We have some more smoke bombs in our kit. So, having Arya's Limit Burst up isn't a bad thing. I think she's the only other one on our team right now we'd actually want. Wow, I'm telling you, running into a battle here took a bit. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do that too. Uh, I think that's a good idea also. Man, I don't know why I'm having a trouble finding Blade Blitz, but that's pretty rough. <laughs> uh, let's see, Blade Blitz, there we go. So, we're gonna... Oh, I didn't use a Centric, so that's kind of bad. Because the Centric could have helped us get this a little bit faster. Yeah, Arya didn't get any of those. Um, we'll boop, boop, boop. And then I think, I think that Riku has her own escape ability. None of those went to Arya. This is rough. Um, escape, yeah. So, guys, I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to get Arya's limit burst up, and then I'm going to meet you over at Bahamut, okay? All right, so that was actually one more battle. It kind of sucks I cut that off. But just in case for the people who think I switched things up, just want to show the uh, equipment real quick so you guys don't think that I uh, somehow cheated. I cut the video and then put on some crazy stuff afterwards okay so there you go there's everything you guys need to see so moving on up moving on up to bahamut so you'll move up i'll say press orange you say yes you'll approach right here it'll say do you want to use a rat tail you say yes that rat tail needs to be in your inventory you know your items where there's mega ethers phoenix downs things like that it has to be there if it's not there you're going to just waste energy here and you're not gonna be able to go fight him so we'll move across the bridge here and um so then we will end up running into bahamut here and there's a storyline. I'm like, you guys can watch that if you want to. I'm going to skip over it. So now we have to prepare ourselves for this battle. Mystia is going to use her AoE magic cover. So boom, that's pretty good there. Um, we are going to have Soleil cast a uh, fantastic spirit uh, up because we want to have our spirit up. This is enhanced Soleil. So we're going to get 100% spirit up. Riku is going to cast her limit burst on everybody so that uh, Mystia can come back to life. And then everybody else is kind of safe. Arya is going to go ahead and defend. Agrius is going to defend. And we're going to see if we have a plus two here on Crush Weapon. We don't to put the magic down even more. But I'm going to go ahead and use it because, hey, 
put that bring that magic down as much as possible as we can. Remember, he can be magic and spirit broken. Excuse me if I didn't say that. He cannot be attack or defense broken. So, see, Mystia is going to die off. She's going to come back to life, and she's covering everybody. And she sadly dies off again. She wasn't that. Uh, she wasn't strong enough to survive. But now we have survived a Mega Flare. We have five more torrents before another one. So we need to build that up. So what we're going to go ahead and do is use Miracle of Rebirth. Bring Mystia back to life to full. That's why I love Arya. She can bring everybody back to full life. So Lay's going to put up our defense and spirit. I'm going to do defense and spirit again. Um, as now it's 120% from Soleil. So I want to get as much. I want to survive as much as possible. It's about surviving in this fight. Uh, do, going in with the attacks isn't that hard. And then I'm going to cast Synthesis with Riku. So I can get that elemental resist up, up on my team. Okay. And then we're going to have Agris and... Uh, Orlando, just do what they do best with the Divine Runation Chaining. So we're going to go ahead and Divine Runation Chain and see how much damage we can get done to him. Remember, he does um, resist. I don't know if I said this either, but I want to say it now. He Oh, Agris, stop. Stop. Stop covering. Oh. We lived. Sometimes that can get a little rough, but there, there is a way to recover. We'll have Arya go ahead and use her Limit Burst, but he is resist to all elements by 50%. But thanks to Divine Runation, we get rid of that uh, down to where he's just not resist at all. And we can just do normal damage. So Arya's going to use her Limit Burst there, no big deal. Um, Riku's going to cast a uh, Hyper Null All, put up all of our Elemental Resist. So Lei's going to put up our Attack and Magic, which is pretty cool. Uh, Misty is going to cast her Cover Ability. Boom. Cast that, make sure that's up. And then Agris and uh, Warrior of Light are going to go ahead and chain up again. So there we go. Let's see what happens. Almost a 50%. Okay, we're having Bolt cast on us, but it shouldn't be that bad because we have the Resist. Then we have Snowstorm, which is some ice damage. And then we have Flare, which is a single target fire. She's going down. No. Ah, she died. That's rough. But we do have the single target or the AoE uh, restore allies to full health. So that's pretty good there. Uh, she's going to come back to life. This is the turn where he's going to dispel everything off of everyone. So this is a turn where I wouldn't have Riku cast her Limit Burst or anything like that. But we can use this turn to cast a Centric. So that when we are building up our Limit Burst here by attacking, we're going to be good on that. So we're going to go ahead and cast a Centric because the next turn, he's going to use Mega Flare. So this turn, he's going to get rid of everybody, do some damage, and the next turn, he's going to use Mega Flare, okay? So we have to be aware of that. Now we're going to put up our Defense and Spirit again. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, and then we're going to use the uh, whole Divine Renation Chaining. So let's see here. Go ahead and do that. See how much damage we can put out. Seems like we got him down 27%, which is good. Now he's going to use Atomic Ray. We have a cover going on here. Hopefully we can live through this. And it's not too bad. Whew, that's a lot of damage. And then now he has now gotten rid of everything on everyone. Mega Flare's coming the next turn. Big Daddy Mega Flare's coming, and it's scary. We do need to summon an Esper, which is why I love Lakshmi on Arya. Not only can our Limit Burst bring everybody back to life, but so can this. So we're going to go ahead and cast that. Remember, this is a Mega Flare turn. It's going to be kind of scary. We may be able just to kill him off, but just in case, I definitely want to prepare the best I can. Uh, well, sorry, watch me didn't fill uh, Mystia all the way up. Uh, let's go ahead and use this right here. It's it's a lot of healing though. Let's use uh, Mystia's cover right here. We're gonna use Riku's Hyper no, uh, not Hyper no, excuse me, her Limit Burst to get everybody revive. Uh, Soleil already has our defensive spirit off, but it's not actually up because he did nullify us all off. So we want to put that on. I'm gonna put that on just in case. I because like what I could do is I could put my attack up and try to kill him, but I'd rather just avoid that and go ahead and just do it slowly. Like we could kill him right here, and it's one thing. But if we don't, which we didn't, and I don't know if the attack up would have done it, this is going to be okay because we have we have made ourselves to where we can survive. Mastia's taking the hits for us. Guys, this really relies on Mastia being amazing. Um, so Agarus is going to need some MP back. If we go to the missions, again, we can use items. So I'm going to have uh, Riku go ahead and give a uh, Mega Aether over to Agarus so that she has some mana. I'm going to have Soleil go ahead and cast an attack and magic buff just in case uh, we need that. And yeah, let me make sure I didn't miss any of the missions here. Evoke an Esper, clear without an ally being KO'd. Didn't get that one. Somebody died. But I mean, you guys are going in for Bahamut. You guys are not going in for these little tiny rewards there. There's 20, there's 20 crits you can farm in a, uh, in a in a dungeon somewhere. So here we go. This should be the end of it. We should have killed him off. There it is. That's how to take it down. And that's why I wanted to wait till we got Mystia. And why I told you guys you need to pull for her. Because she's very important here for getting Bahamut. And she's going to be very important later on when I do my Blood Moon trial. So now that you've unlocked Bahamut, let's talk about how to use him. What is Bahamut's evocation? It's Mega Flare. Just like he did to you in that fight. You guys are going to be able to use that. That's a really good finisher. Um, especially with people coming out like Yuna. And then even right now, another strategy to even take down Bahamut is to get a big chain going. Have Garnett with her uh, upped 
uh, Evocation damage or up summon damage up and then just kill Bahamut off of Bahamut. That's another way you guys can do it is how strong uh, Bahamut is. You also notice that Bahamut is only a one star Esper. There's no two star for him now. So once you get him leveled up, you don't have to go back in with more Rat Tails and get another one. You're good there. Bahamut is a stat king. If we go ahead and look at training him, he is all about stats. All he has is stats. There's no other abilities on him. He's just going to give a lot of stats to your unit. Um, you can choose where you want to build him up. And, and the way you do that is uh, determine what unit you're going to want to put him on. Personally, I like to build him up for magic and spirit. Uh, simply because, and uh, you know, stuff like that. Simply because he has no killer abilities. So those physical damage dealers are probably going to be using a killer ability. So... More than likely, I'll throw this person, on, uh, throw Bahamut on a magic person. Or, honestly, I was thinking about it. Maybe you just go in here and get the HP defense uh, spirit and then just use him as like a defensive as for, I don't know. But uh, it's up to you guys how you want to build him. Just think of something like that. Um, Bahamut is a very, very powerful Esper. All those times you want to finish with an Esper, he's going to be there for you. And uh, whenever we get a two-star version of him, it may be very, very interesting. So, yeah, it's up to you guys uh, how you want to use Bahamut, but he's very good. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're going to try to attempt Bahamut. Let me know how it goes. And uh, before we finish this video again, I just want to say uh, uh, these guys are here to help you guys. I'm not making these guys to try to sneak some equipment underneath there and be like, aha, snuck in that uh, holy one. They didn't. Be, I hope they didn't notice me beating that boss. It's not about that. It's not a. It's not uh, who has the bigger EP and or cannot beat this boss with six shadows that's not what i'm here for i'm trying to help you guys with a guide and make you understand how it works so i hope it does and then subscribe for future content we'll catch you guys in the next video